Hello, this is Rabia Slam. Today we will do multiple choice questions from the AI 2018. Question 1, part 1 is limit x tends to 0 e to power x minus 1 over x. If we substitute the value of x 0 in this e to power 0 minus 1 and 0 so e to power 0 is 1 minus 1 so it will be 0 over 0 which is undefined we cannot solve this so what we do we derivate this numerator and denominator so e to power x minus 1 and x ka derivative find karte okay so differentiating the numerator e ki power x ka derivative is e ki power x then ln e hota hai ln e ki value is 1 so we don't write that and x ka derivative is 1 minus 0 because derivative of 1 is 0 then the derivative of this x is 1 so e ki power x now x approaches to 0 so e to the power 0 is 1. So the correct answer is 1. Now in part 2 limit x tends to 0 sin cx over x we have to find that and similarly if we put x is equal to 0 in this so the answer will be 0 over 0 that is undefined. So what we do we know that sin theta over theta is 1 so we make the denominator cx sin cx over x multiply and divide by c so this will be cx so this condition ho jayegi and this whole term will become 1 and 1 into c is c so the correct answer is c in part 3, the least upper bound LUB of minus 10, minus 5, 8, minus 1 by 3, 15 and 21 is 21. The coordinates of the centroid of the triangle whose vertices are 2,8, 8,2 and 9,9 .9 are. How to find the centroid? We know that the formula is x is equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. And similarly, y is equals to y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So, this is x1, this is x2, and this is x3. 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 9 is 19 over 3. Similarly, y is 8 and 2, 10. 10 plus 9, 19 over 3. So, the correct answer is this 19 over 3, comma 19 over 3. Now part 5 is the inclination of x axis is inclination basically aapka slope ko kehte hain this is x axis and this is y axis so the inclination is 0 degree and what is the inclination of y axis y axis is 90 degree the distance of the point 3 comma 2 from x axis is the point is 3 comma 2 for example these are the axis and here it is the point 3 comma 2 so the distance from the x axis is we have to go upward so the value of y is 2 so the correct answer is 2 units part 7 is if two or more straight lines meet at one point then the lines are the options are concurrent, parallel, perpendicular or coincident. So if there are more than two lines passing through a similar point, then the lines are known as concurrent. Okay. Now, some of the slopes of the pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 0 is. So the correct answer is 2h over b. In part 9, the derivative of cosec inverse y. So the derivative of cosec 
inverse y is minus 1 divided by y into under root of y square minus 1. This is formula. Now part 10 is an antiderivative of a function is also called indefinite integral. In part 11, integral of cos x into e to the power sin x dx. We know that integral is basically antiderivative. If I derivate e to the power cos x, ko derivate karun, so what will be the answer? e to the power cos x, then cos ka derivative is minus sin x. So this will means this will not be the option because we have to uh, we have cos x and e to the power sin x and this is different e to the power cos x into sin x now differentiate this e to the power sin x and then is sin x a derivative is cos x so the correct answer is e to the power sin x plus c because when we integrate we add c because of the constant term okay now in part 12 integral of cosec x into dx and uh, the integral of cosec x is basically ln of cosec x minus cot x and uh, I think this is the typing error because I copied these questions from the past paper so the answer is this and we don't have this option. Now, uh, in part 13, integral of 2x divided by 1 plus x square into dx. Okay. Let's suppose, let t is equals to 1 plus x square. Differentiate karte is term ko, so it will be dt over dx is equals to 1 1 ka derivative is 0 plus 2x so it will be dt is equals to 2x and dx okay I am again solving let t is equals to 1 plus x square then we differentiate this term so it will be dt over dx is equals to 0 plus 2x and dt is equals to 2x dx why we did that so that we can replace this 2x dx with dt and 1 plus x square with t and whenever we have derivative in the numerator and t any term in the denominator if you have derivative in the numerator ka in the row to answer aata hai aapka ln of this term plus c and we know that p is basically 1 plus x square plus c so the correct answer is ln of 1 plus x square plus c so the option is here ln of 1 plus x square plus c okay in part 14 the radius of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus p equals to 0 we have the formula for the Radius of circle is under root of g square plus f square minus c. In general equation of circle, we have c as a constant, but here since they have given us p, so the correct answer is under root of g square plus f square minus p. The line y is equals to mx plus c touches the circle. The equation is x square plus y square is equals to r square answer is c square is equal to r square into 1 plus m square i will explain how we get this okay so the equations are y is equal to mx plus c and the other equation is x square plus y square is equal to r square agar ye line circle ko touch kar rahi hai to inka ek common point hoga theek hai so try to find that common point we have y is equals to mx plus c substitute in this equation so x square plus mx plus c whole square is equals to r square 
so x square plus applying formula on this so it will be m square x square plus 2mcx plus c square is equals to r square common r is missing so it will be 1 plus m square into x square plus 2mcx plus c square minus r square equals to 0 since the line touches the circle so there will be one value of x therefore discriminant should be 0 and how we find discriminant b square minus 4ac should be equals to 0 a is the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant so here the coefficient of x is 2mc 2mc whole square minus 4 coefficient of x square is 1 plus m square and c is c square minus r square equals to 0 4m square c square minus 4 minus 4m square c square minus r square equals to 0 4m square c square minus 4c square minus 4r square plus 4m square c square minus 4m square r square equals to 0 okay so 4m square plus this this will cancel out and the remaining terms are bracket open karke minus 4c square minus 4r square minus 4m square r square so 4m square r square equals to 0 minus 4 common c square minus r square sorry c square plus r square plus m square r square equals to 0 and r square is common so it will be 1 plus m square is equals to okay when we open the bracket so minus plus minus and minus minus plus so this value will be plus and then again minus commonly as so this value will be minus so basically c square minus this and then we shift this value here to c square is equals to r square into 1 plus m square now in part 16 the equation ax square plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 represents a parabola if if a equals to 0 and b is not equals to 0 Part 17 is semi lattice rectum of an ellipse x square over a square plus y square over b square is equals to 1 is semi lattice rectum of an ellipse the formula is 2b square over a only for the lattice rectum sorry okay and if we have to find the semi the semi means half so it will be 2b square over a divided by 2 so 2 is 2 cancel so the answer will be b square over a is this if they are asking only for the latest rectum then the answer will be 2b square over a but if they are asking for the semi latest rectum then the answer will be b square over a square we have to divide this formula by 2 for semi latest in part 18 in rectangular hyperbola the value of an eccentricity is okay so the formula for finding the eccentricity of a hyperbola is e is equals to c over a and c is basically a square plus b square this is a square c square is equals to a square plus b square in rectangular hyperbola the value of a is equals to b when we solve this chapter so i will explain all these from where they are coming 
for the time being these are the three main formulas for the eccentricity we find by using e is equal to c over a to find the value of c we have the formula c square is equal to a square plus b square and for the rectangular hyperbola the condition is a is equal to b for the rectangular hyperbola so first of all we have to find c so c square is equal to a square and plus a square because of the case of rectangular c square is equal to 2 a square and c is equals to root 2 a so now put the value in this formula e is equals to root 2 a divided by a a say a cancel so the value is root 2 so our answer is root 2 in part 19 if b is equals to p1 p2 and P1 is 100, zero zero, P2 is 3 into, sorry, 3 comma 1 comma minus 2, then the determinant of B, okay. So the question is from scalars and vectors chapter. When we have to find the dot product and also the determinant, so the formula is under root of, this is I, J, K, I, J, K i into i is 1 to 3 into 1 3 and sky square plus 0 into 1 0 sky square and 0 into minus 2 0 uska square here in this case the values are 0 0 otherwise jo bhi values hongi aapne uska square karna so the answer is 3 because root say square cancel ho jayega so the correct answer will will be 3 here it is the unit vector in the direction of r is equals to 2i plus j minus k. When we have to find the unit vector, we have to divide by its determinant. And determinant, abhi humne is case ke andar kis tarike se nikala tha? Uh, sorry. Determinant nikalte hain, aapke paas jo bhi aapka vector hai. For example, i ki value hai, uska aapne square karna hai. So, 2 ka square plus j ki value is 1, 1 ka square and जो भी यहाँ पे साइन है आपने उसके साथ करना है प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वायर एंड न्यूमिनेटर के अंदर आपका जो भी वेक्टर है वो सेम एज इट इज रहेगा ठीक है अ वेक्टर डिवाइडेड बाय इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड तो हमारे पास यूनिट वेक्टर आ जाता है सो इट विल बी फोर प्लस वन प्लस वन सिक्स रूट सिक्स सो द आंसर इज टू आई प्लस जे माइनस के डिवाइडेड बाई रूट सिक्स 